While about 10% of methotrexate is eliminated in the bile, primarily methotrexate is eliminated by the kidneys. Methotrexate undergoes two of the three processes in the kidneys. It is filtered, just like genomycin. It also undergoes active secretion from the blood into the renal tubules. Some drugs block active secretion of molecules into the renal tubule. And one of these drugs is probenicid, which is a drug most often used to treat gout. Normally, a certain amount of methotrexate is actively secreted from the blood directly into the renal tubule. Probenicid blocks this secretion. That can lead to decreased clearance of methotrexate and increase methotrexate serum concentrations. At one point, this same pharmacokinetic drug interaction was used with penicillins to increase efficacy. Clinicians would give penicillin and probenicid together when treating gonorrhea to block the excretion of penicillin and achieve higher penicillin concentrations in the blood. We don't do that much anymore, as the recommendations are now to use cephalosporins to treat gonorrhea. Another problem seen with methotrexate is that it precipitates in an acidic environment. Unfortunately, the acidic environment it tends to precipitate in is in the renal tubule. So you can imagine the damage that occurs when a liquid that is filtering through the nephron all of a sudden crystallizes and turns solid. That's a bad thing. One way to prevent methotrexate from precipitating in an acidic environment is don't let the environment get acidic. So when giving big doses of methotrexate, we also give these patients lots of IV fluids and sodium bicarbonate. This does two things. First off, giving lots of fluid makes it less likely that methotrexate will concentrate in the kidneys enough to precipitate. The sodium bicarbonate causes the renal filtrate to be alkaline, which keeps the methotrexate dissolved until it can be eliminated in the urine. The prescribing information says that it's best to keep the urine pH above 7 when giving large doses of methotrexate, either by infusing sodium bicarb intravenously or by giving sodium bicarbonate orally. 